Okay, I was visiting my friend Barbara in Brooklyn Heights in her uh, new old apartment and as soon as I entered the apartment she said, I just set off a roach bomb, whereupon as soon as the words left her lips, roaches started flying out of the walls as projectiles hitting us and we screamed and ran out of the apartment and we decided what should we do, let's go to Greenwich Village. So we got on the train and we got off at West 3rd Street and we're walking along West 3rd Street and Barbara starts telling me about this great movie that she saw, The Night of the Living Dead, and, I, and she starts going into detail, detail about it and I said, Barbara, don't tell me, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it. She keeps going as we're walking straight into the Waverly Theater, which is playing Night of the Living Dead at midnight, and it's 10 minutes to 12, and she says, we gotta go, we gotta go. So we go, and we're sitting in the balcony, and I don't know which was more scary, the people in the balcony or the movie. And after we leave, uh, she said, Linda lives in the village, let's go visit Linda. So we go, uh, and Linda lived in a brownstone on Bedford Street, which for some reason you had to climb in the window to get in there. I mean, the, uh, there was no other entrance or exit. And it must have been about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I walked in, it was very dark, and I, my eyes became accustomed to the dark, and I smelled pot. I saw people sitting around, and Linda was working on an art project. And all of a sudden she screams, and she runs into the bathroom, and I follow her, and like blood is spurting out of her finger all over the walls, the floors. And like there's one thing I learned in first aid is when you want to stop bleeding, put pressure between the cut and the rest of the body. So I stood there and held her finger until she stopped bleeding. And she said, you saved my life. And then we both went back into this main room, which was like all wood paneled. I'd never seen anything like it. And I just sat down, we fell asleep. And then in the morning, Barbara and I climbed out the window and left.